Hey everybody, welcome back to another Linux learning video. My name is Anthony. My name is Chris. And today we are going to talk about a question that we get asked all the time is, how do I properly clean an outdoor condensing unit? In this video, we're going to walk through the steps of how to properly clean a Linux condensing coil. There's a couple of steps before we can begin washing this unit down. First of which is that we have to pull our disconnect or de-energize this unit. We want to make sure that we're working safely and that this unit doesn't have a chance of coming on uh, while we're doing our maintenance. The next step of this process is going to be removing the panels to expose the condensing coil itself. The, for those that have worked on Linux equipment, you know that Linux has different shapes of units, which each may contain different panels. For this video, you can see we have a signature unit that is our wedge shape or our paragon shape unit. And these units are equipped with our hinged louver panels. So you'll need to remove the quarter inch screws. Plus you'll need to swing the doors open, lift and fully remove. So we've already removed the disconnect from this system. Chris and I are gonna go ahead and start removing these panels and we'll get this unit ready for maintenance. All right, so we've got the panels removed from this unit and we're gonna do a little bit of a close up just so you guys can see, uh, you know, this, this condenser here is definitely in need of, of some spring maintenance before we get into the summer weather here. Uh, different things, you know, grass, cottonwood, different debris, you know, has the potential to get up into our condenser coil and really kind of wreak some havoc on the system. Uh, things like drop in efficiency. And at the end of the day, the condenser's job is to reject heat and if we've got this material blocking airflow across our coil, we could potentially be looking at a service call for you know, an overheated unit due to high pressure, maybe a compressor that overheats. So the importance of annual maintenance is, is really just critical, you know, not only for efficiency, but for operation and um, you know, avoiding those, those service calls in those hot summer months. So you can see here, there's quite a bit of material we're going to go ahead and set this camera back up and Chris is going to take us through what we can do and the steps that we should take to properly wash down this unit. All right. First step of this process is going to be kind of apparent, as you can see in the video. Uh, we are going to need to brush off the loose material that has built up onto this coil assembly. Um, Recommendation for this process is going to be a, to use a soft nylon bristle brush, uh, being very careful that we don't damage the coil fins themselves, but strong enough to, to get rid of the material. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and attack this unit and get it all cleaned up. All right, now that I got all the loose debris knocked away and brushed off the outside of the coil, we can now begin to spray the coil with water. Now, based on severity, you may want to pull the top off this unit and spray from the inside out, just so you don't completely pack some of that additional debris in between the fins further into the coil assembly. So in this case, we are going to pull the top 
Anthony is going to hold it up. Luckily, I have help today. Anthony is going to hold the top up out of the way, and I'm going to spray this indoor coil from the inside out and remove all of the debris in between the aluminum fins. Now, I will preface this with Lennox strongly recommends only using water to clean our aluminum coils. No harsh chemicals or cleaners are supposed to be used based on the aluminum properties of the coil assembly itself. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in and start spraying this down and get it cleaned up. All right, so Chris got us through that part of the maintenance. We've got this unit sprayed out from the inside out. Only a couple things left for us to do here today. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue finishing our, our maintenance by spraying this unit from the outside. And you know, a couple notes on this that I wanna just make everybody aware of. You know, A normal garden hose at, at normal water pressure is, is plenty on these residential air conditioning units. We don't wanna use anything you know, super aggressive like a power washer or anything like that. Uh, normal garden hose is going to work just fine. And the only other note, guys, when you're spraying this down, I just want to make sure that, you know, when you are spraying this and washing this coil down, make sure you're hitting it straight on with the water and not from the side. Because the last thing we want is we don't want to bend over any of those fins uh, and cause an obstruction with airflow. We want to hit it straight on so we can avoid bending those. So let's go ahead. I'm going to jump in here. We'll get this thing sprayed down. All right, guys, we have this coil fully washed off. We've completed our maintenance here on this unit, and you can see there's a huge difference between where we started and where we have this unit looking now. This was a, this was a beast of a unit, but we were able to get it done today. This thing is looking bright, shiny, and clean, and we are ready for a warm summer. So again, hopefully this video gave you guys some good tips and tricks, maybe taught you something you didn't know, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get these panels put back on, get it buttoned up, and this customer will be ready for, for the cooling season. So thanks again, guys, for joining us on, on these videos, and we will see you on the next one.